Why do you want to build a system? Okay. Now, I'm not sure every, what everybody understands is that there's two different types of games that you play in this world. There's two types of games, at least two types of games in this in this world. You guys like the topic of game, right? But uh, so I'm gonna put it a little bit more meta. There's two types of games in life. One is called a finite game, and the other is called an infinite game. Okay, this is based on a book by James P. Cars. Uh, I think it's written in 1986 called Finite and Infinite Games. Uh, if you want to read it, it's 150 pages long, so find it and read it. Now, in semester one, you're dealing with a lot of finite games, which means that at the end of the day, there's a specific date, somebody is going to finish the work and that's how you mark good, good words, not so good work. There's specific things or rules around it, a winning criteria. Uh, you learn, you know, in your day-to-day, -day, basketball, baseball, soccer, football, those are finite games. Once you cross into second semester, you're going to start going into the realm of infinite games. Your personal growth, should you be mentally strong, should I be feeling good or not, the game of business, the game of life, those are infinite games. Then what are infinite games? Uh, it is basically a type of game that never ends. In other words, you play until you no longer can play. Right? In finite games, at the end of one and a half hours, soccer ends. We decide whoever scores the most goal wins. If it doesn't, then there's golden goal, penalty, extra hours, whatever. Right? In infinite games, in a game of building products, building application, building business, uh, growth, personal growth, there's no rules of success. It's not who scores the most goal, uh, goals because there's no agreement of what the success criteria is. In infinite games, you play until you can no longer play, right? Think about it this way. There's many tech companies, right? They exist way beyond. Uh, most of you don't know, before Facebook, there's Friendster and things like that, other social media network, right? Uh, what is that? Uh, this geocities.com. If <laughs> you guys even remember that, uh, I don't think you guys were born even then. And after this era of like Facebook, there's gonna be plenty of other applications that will come in and exit. There's infinite amount of players and there's no success criteria. So your goal as you're building products, building company, uh, building tech in the world is to understand that you're in an environment of infinite games and the rule differs. The rule is not to score the most goal by the end of one and a half hours. The rule is to play until you can no longer play. And how do you do that, right? It is to start thinking differently, start questioning and start, uh, you know, sharing, right? Through conversations and learning constantly. Now, right now, if you, in semester one, if you don't know something, okay, you would go back and and watch the video, right? Or you would you go through the lecture slides and it kind of tells you where you're gonna go, right? In semester two, the lecture slides, and I can give it to you, uh, we'll still be giving it to you, you can download it. It's gonna occupy only 10% of the entire content, okay? It only, it's only gonna occupy 10%. Right now, the lecture slide is about 50%, and then your work is about 50%, right? Next semester, the lecture slides is going to occupy maximum, right, 10%. Okay, now, the remaining parts are you asking questions, making sure that you understand the topic, and then practicing them, right? That means practice the exercise within the, the session itself and then with your team, right? So those are going to occupy the remaining 90% of it. So, Next, you will notice that that is why on semester two, there's no recorded videos anymore. It's all gonna be live sessions so that you guys are practicing that. Uh, and honestly, the main part of it is you asking questions and conversing. Right now, as it is, I'd always notice that there's only a few names that sort of talk, you know, if I ask, you know, what some of the mentors would ask, hey, is there any questions? There's only a few of you just respond. It is going to be really, really advantageous for you if you 
ask questions constantly, especially when you don't understand a topic or when you're trying to understand it. Because uh, I was telling this to the design students, I'm going to say this to the to the uh, engineering stream as well, or the development stream, is that it's not we're not going to take it up one notch. We're going to take it up 50 notches. Okay? So you're going to be doing things that has no right or wrong answers. You're going to be making decisions where it's based on trade-offs. Right now, you're making decisions that's relatively simple. You would say, oh, this thing is better than that, right? It's very simple. But when you're starting to work on your topic for semester two and your competition and things like that, it's no longer that simple. The decision will be trade-offs. What are the trade-offs? Why? Sometimes a trade-off will be odds stacked against you, but you still have to then justify why you want to make one decision over the other. So that's the difference in that regard, okay? So prepare yourself if you have to, mentally speaking. Uh, and then, yeah, 